Have you guys ever had an experience with a Roblox hacker or even a Roblox stalker? Yeah, because if you have been playing Roblox for a while, you guys would have probably come across some weird Roblox players. Hopefully no stalkers or hackers, but it's happened to many people already. And you guys have been letting us know about this Roblox stalker that everyone has been talking about. The Roblox player that stalked people. So Jay Imagine was a player who joined in September 2018. Okay, so that was like about a couple of years ago already by now. He was known for his big blue head. Dang. He played lots of games, but never added people. One day he met someone named Penelope 09876 in Meep City. And she was dressed exactly like his mother. What? What Penelope did not know was that Jay Imagine grabbed her location, kept sending her friend requests until she finally accepted. Okay, so obviously this person was actually kind of obsessed with her. After they messaged, he said soon and went offline. Okay, so right here, guys, it says, why do you keep spam sending me friend requests? September 2nd, 2018. You will see why soon. Question mark. Okay, that's okay. a crazy response already, guys. He kept messaging her mother until he was finally banned off Roblox. What the heck, guys? Okay, so this person did get banned. Nobody knows what happened to him, but Penelope is still online and plays Roblox sometimes. Okay, that's good. Six days ago. But you guys have let us know about similar things that have been happening to you guys with random people sending you a friend request, which is kind of normal. But the thing is, they keep on forcing you to accept their friend request when you do not want to. Yeah, it's definitely strange if someone's keep like constantly sending you friend requests over and over again and kind of forcing you to accept it. So what if you guys said this right here? Oh, gee, I was playing Brookhaven three years ago until I heard these repeating words. I see you. I was so scared and I left the game. And then I joined Bluxfers until I heard the same words again. And after that, I got banned for a day. After one day, I'm going to Roblox and I heard the same words. So I logged out. For two years after that, I deleted my account and made a new one in 2023. And after that, it was going well until one day I heard the same sound again. I got into Roblox after two hours and started to play life together. And I found someone stalking me. Yes, I said, did you guys hear that story, Maya? This girl kept hearing the same thing in her game. But then at the end, I think she kind of realized that it was actually someone stalking her. Yeah, because this person actually could have been following her and playing the sound in her game to freak her out. But this person kind of connects to Brookhaven. Okay, so listen, the oldest Roblox hacker. So her name is Brittany Susan, and she joined Roblox in 2012, but that was even before Brookhaven even existed. Watch your back. Okay, join day is April 29, 2012. Okay, so when this video was taken, it said last online three hours ago. She was active from 2012 to 2016 until she was banned. In 2016, she met a girl named Alice. This was when killer clowns were getting really popular and attacking people in real life. Brittany messaged Alice one day to join her in-game. When she joined, her screen turned black and her hour charger was stuck as this. It's a clown! Alice was never online again, but Brittany recently came online and updated her game, guys. Look, one week ago. Okay, so this is what we're talking about right here. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people know who she is, but a lot of people have actually been talking about her backstory. Like, why did she become a hacker? Kind of scared to play Brooklyn at night. This is because a girl named Brittany Susan. She is a Rolex player that joined on April 29, 2012. Yeah, guys, this is her. But Brittany Susan is not like your normal Roblox player. It is rumored that she hacked people's accounts several years ago. This was because she was so upset that she couldn't make friends on Roblox. Everyone thought she was strange. Now, some people say that they even call her active in popular games like Brookhaven. If you do this, you might get a creepy message. Guys, that is kind of the problem with Brookhaven, my But since Brookhaven is such a popular game, a bunch of hackers actually tried hacking the game. Yeah, you guys have seen it, guys. With the Brookhaven glitch, that image glitch and everything, Thing that's obviously not part of the game. These could not be explained at the time, guys, but now we really think it is all just because of hackers. Alright, guys, just let's see what this girl actually says because, you know, we kind of want to see a creepy message, right, Lola? I mean, I guess, right? We have to see what this is about. Okay, guys, so it has to be 3 a.m. in your server, and it doesn't matter if it's in real life or not. Okay, guys, well, you know what? 12 a.m. right now, so we have to wait for it to turn 3 a.m., and I guess that is when the scary things happen, right? Because everybody has been seeing some weird things at night in the game in Brookhaven. It can either be in real life or in the game. Okay, guys, so it's 3 or 2 a.m am right now. After that, you need to go to the agency. The important thing to remember is that this entire place was not always here in Brookhaven. Yeah, obviously it wasn't, guys. Turn on the fourth light, because she joined Roblox on the fourth month of the year. April, yes, but okay. she did join in April, guys. April 29, 2012. Oh my gosh. It's kind of like her join date anniversary coming up soon, guys. Oh, that's kind of true. Is that why she's coming back? Guys, I have no idea, but that is super creepy. I mean, if that is, guys, I'm not gonna go onto Roblox on April 29th then. Okay, so we had to see it. So we had to go to the agency. Oh, guys, yeah. So right here, this is where the hiding spot has been. And it's kind of been here for a while now. Now we have to go in here. And then she said, click the button. Okay, where is the button? Guys, there's a total of, wait, four buttons. One is missing right by three. But she said we had to turn on number four. Okay, Maya, turn it on. So people say that 2012 was the year when Brittany entered a new school. That was when she started to get bullied. But parents tried to help her by homeschooling her. But it only made things worse. Guys, that's actually crazy if that's actually what happened. You're going to need to get the house in the forest. Maya, that is a Hidden Valley plot. Get the 
this home, and this is it because it's the only home in Brookhaven with coffins inside. Um, what? Guys, that's actually kind of true, Maya, because that is one of the darkest homes in Brookhaven. Wait, which one is it? The Hidden Valley? Because yes, this Hidden Valley. is the one with like a bunch of forest and everything, guys. Guys, we're covered with like trees here, like we're surrounded by it. Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie, this house is just creepy. Like, look at this. Yeah, guys, we should probably enter in with a flashlight. I'm pretty sure you cannot see anything if you did not have a flashlight. Okay, ready to look. Look how dark it is in here. And there okay. are these strange objects, Maya. Obviously, guys, what would you call this? Coffin. <laughs> guys, they're definitely not just normal boxes, and they're everywhere in the house. The garage, even inside the pool. Okay, you know what, Lua? Is we have no pool, but guess what we do have? Maya, what do you mean? Yeah, guys, there is one in the pool. No, there's three tombstones right here. Oh my gosh, guys. Is that not like so creepy? Oh my god! What the heck? There's like coffins everywhere. There's tombstones right here in your backyard. Who has that? Who like normal person has like literally gravestones inside your backyard, Maya? Like I would move. Right? Go down into this room. This is where she likes to be left alone. You need to grab this book. Guys, oh my gosh, my, there is that secret room in this house. So I think there's like a couple of bedrooms, like one, two, three. But if we go into this one right here, guys, this is where there's a secret hiding spot. Like, look, there's a piece of like glass, I guess. I'm not sure. And I think we have to go like right here. Oh yeah, yeah, wait, look. This also had a secret message right here on the glass. Go into the school and type this message on every board. Watch your back. That is the last message people heard from her. Okay, so we need to go over there to the school, Mai, because if that's truly her backstory, there's all- Oh my gosh! Oh, no. What the heck was that? There's literally something right there. Wait, go, 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 go to the backyard, guys, right now. What do you mean, Maya? Wait, did you close the door? No. Well, I mean, I didn't close it, guys. Okay, wait, 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 Maya, where? Where, where, where? Are you talking about the coffin? There was literally something right here by the gravestone. What do you mean, Maya, something? Well, I don't know. I literally looked like her. Her, Maya, guys, are you literally, are you seriously talking about Brittany? Yes, Brittany says it. I'm not sure if she just, like, you know, like appeared and you thought that you saw her oh no i'm pretty sure i saw her okay but now we have to write watch your back every single board okay bye. we have to type it like that i guess okay this one's in the science room because i think that's it there's only three spaces here Maya. all right look, i put it on every single board finally make your way to exist exact street the cherry road in apache street near the abandoned house once you're there this is where I saw Wait, something. Wait, guys, let's look. Let's look really closely. Okay, she said she was flicking through the house plots. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Maya. She actually saw something. Wait, was that like, where, was that where we were at? Literally, yeah, it's literally all the way over there in the corner. Okay, so wait. Is there like a reason why it's always these people, Maya? Yeah, like Betty Jo, Madison, even like Ross and Robbie, and even Moonstar. They all have their own backstory. Okay, Maya, look at your house cam. Well, I'm going to just check my house cams just in case. All right, well, let's see. Okay, everything. What the heck? Oh my gosh, guys. Did you see that, Maya? Okay, hold up. There was something at your house, and it's a door. It's the same door. But, okay, I'm really scared. You can enter it. Bro, how is it closed? What do you mean? I always thought this house was kind of suspicious with all these coffins and with all these tombstones and gravestones everywhere, Maya, so check. Wait, look, did we ever notice that there was actually a broken piece right here? Guys, there's a broken mirror down here, too. Wait, is that the same mirror? Are they, like, connected? Guys, this is actually, like, really freaking me out, Maya. I have no idea. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this house at first, I mean, besides all these weird boxes. Guys, look, is this really because of a hacker or what? Guys, I have no idea, but other creepy things have been happening in other games. But you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the house because it's kind of creeping me out. Yeah, guys, but there are a lot of instances in Brookhaven where people thought they were alone, but they really weren't. Okay, so she said, I thought I was alone. And she didn't have anyone else in her server. So I don't know if she was in a private server or what. It's at night, Maya, in the game. Again, she sees something in the sky. Wait, 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 no, no. Not in the sky. At the hospital. What is that? Oh my gosh, guys. Wait a second. But we're right by the hospital right now. We should go check. She was right over here on that side, right by the stores. Okay, so I think we're in the exact same spot. And I did not see anything at all. But everyone is saying that private servers at night is actually scary. It's definitely creepy, but I don't think the hospital is the creepiest place here in Brookhaven. But these pictures are really different, and they have really creepy stories behind them. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this right now. Scariest game on Roblox. Back in 17, there was a game called Blank. When you join, you are alone in a dark room with two bots saying, die, die, die. The game doesn't let you leave until you find a path that leads to a house. Okay, guys, this is kind of strange. What does that even mean, Maya? What type of game is it called Blank? Blank. When you find a house and an unknown user joins your server, his username is blank. His eyes are blank and he is blank. Dude, Maya, that is that so is weird. weird guys. Oh, okay, Maya. Maya. He starts to stalk you wherever you go in the house. What you should do is turn around, guys. Well, I mean, Maya, guys, this is the type of case where you should leave the game. If you do so, there are multiple jump scares. You have to find three keys. Key one is in the bathroom. Key two is in the basement. And key three is in the ceiling in a basement, guys. Whoa. Okay, everybody. I heard that these games are a little games that are hacked guys or the people in the game 
are literally on purpose putting these like creepy pictures in the game. So you guys better be careful of what games you actually play in Roblox. Yeah, so there was like one game that I was playing and uh, there was like a creepy smile for some reason on the picture on the wall, but I've never seen that before ever. Okay, so this one gets a really, really creepy. The dark story behind the Mandela catalog, guys. Whoa. Okay. If you see someone who looks just like this, you run away immediately. The Mandela catalog was uploaded on YouTube. Okay, so this takes place in Mandela country where strange things happen. Okay, guys, this sounds so weird. Civilians have to keep a firearm on them at all times if they own one, guys, to protect themselves from entities called alternate. Oh my gosh, besties. They're trying to take over the whole country. There are different types of alternates. There are ones that look identical to you. Just look at what the heck, bro? What is that? No wait, way. Wait, wait, guys. This is the real and this is the fake. These girls look exactly the same. And then there's this one. Wait, a Dude, little bit. Maya, guys. Hold on. They look very similar. But you're are, sure, are you sure it was like not just random people that, that look like you? Maya, that is the point. How can a random person look exactly like you, Maya? What, what do you mean? Well, have you guys heard that it has to be at least seven people that look like you in the real world? Yeah, guys. I've heard that before too, Maya. Like in real life, guys, there are at least seven people in the entire world that look exactly like you, Maya. Oh my gosh. Like Maya, doppelgangers, Luna. Okay, but first of all, how would you even react if someone looked exactly like you? I would make them my twin. Okay, Maya. Yeah, I guess, guys. They would basically be your twins, but there's seven twins that look exactly the same. We can do a switcheroo. But who says they're the same age, though? Well, other alternates have very unnatural features. Okay, Betsy, so let's see. Oh my gosh. What okay. the heck? Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Whoa, what the whoa, no, 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 Guys, okay, wait a second, Maya. That literally looks like a reptile, a dinosaur. I don't even know. I like purple dirty. What the heck was that? Guys, that picture actually gives it a chill. Guys, comment down below if you guys have ever heard of this thing in a Roblox before, Maya. It definitely sounds really scary. But you guys also have to be careful of this. This is why you should never call your own number. So this is the creepy pasta that I heard that is definitely really creepy. They say that you should never answer your own phone if your own number is calling you. Because once you do, the game begins and you can't get out of it. Wait, guys, what does that even mean? So if you ignore the call, it's totally fine. But some people are curious and need to know who is on the other end. If you answer it, whatever you say into the phone, your own voice will say it back to you. My, that is so creepy, guys. So if you say, who is this? The voice will literally say, who is this, guys? But what you don't know is as long as you stay on the phone, your doppelganger is coming for you. Maya! Oh. Wait. Now I don't want a twin. Guys, this is so creepy, Maya. If you actually have a doppelganger, okay, but why, why would they be coming back after you, Maya? Why would they come after you? Because they want to be the only one in the world. Maya, that is so creepy, guys. So you're saying they're trying to get rid of every other doppelganger in the world? Yeah, Maya, um, definitely. I am definitely not answering any phone call that is my number, okay? Do not answer any phone call that has the same exact number as you. But I'm kind of curious. I want to do it, too. It can track up your location as long as you're speaking to it. So there are stories on the internet about people's doppelgangers arriving at their front door. Whoa! Appearing in their bedroom windows! And basically, your doppelganger wants to take over your life. Yo. Oh, my gosh, guys. Is this actually serious, though? No one will know that you're gone because they look exactly like you so do not call your own phone number do not answer it either guys okay guys you heard it here Maya definitely do not answer your own phone number if they are calling you that is so mysterious so this is actually kind of similar to having a stalker yeah Maya that's kind of true and this girl right here apparently had a stalker in this game today I'm going to show you one of the scariest videos ever filmed on Roblox this video is of a girl playing alone in her private server in adopt me but later on she realizes that she is not alone are you ready yes little I'm ready. Okay, guys, so wait. So this girl is in her Roblox server. Do you see it on the right? The what, Maya? What? Did you see it on the right? Did you see it on the right? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, Did Bethany, you wait, see it on the right? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Bethany, okay. I'll show you again. Slow it down. Okay, wait, let me see. Oh! Oh, my. Oh, my gosh, Bethany. That is so weird. Bethany, what the heck? Wait. I tried to unblur the photo, and this is what I got. Wait, let me see. Oh, my gosh. Oh, give me a What chills. the heck? There's a lot of speculation about this video, guys, but some think it's a lie and some think it's true. I mean, I don't know. Maya, here's a story about the girl. While trying to hatch the egg and adopt me, the game kept on crashing. Okay, that's happened before. My internet was slow, and at one point, my power went out. I was very scared, but decided to continue playing Adopt Me with mobile data, okay? Then I decided to make a video for my YouTube account of how to play. After I shot the video, 
I watched it and saw the unknown person has been stalking me the whole entire time. No one was on my server and I haven't played Roblox since then. Oh my gosh, my she said she was so scared. Okay, Bessie, so obviously this is a very serious matter, Luna. The cops need to get rid of that guy. <laughs> guys, we do not know, Maya. Hold up. If this is actually real or not, but I mean, guys, it does look pretty realistic and I kind of do believe her, Maya. I don't because really believe her. All of well, you don't all. believe her, guys. Comment below if you do. She was definitely, guys, in a private server. We know that for sure. But at the same time, we definitely have run into some hackers in games, guys. Well, I don't know if they're hackers or if they're literally trying to troll people. So, Luna, I was playing Blade Ball, trying to get a lot of coins. But then there was a map called the Desert, I think. And there was like a person far away. Like the wall would go to him. I thought it was just scarier. Seeing an image on Roblox or seeing a hacker in the game. Okay, Maya, well, we'll see this right here. The dark story behind the man who appears in your dreams. Oh my gosh, Maya, why does that picture scare me? Back in January 2006, a child psychologist drew the face of that man. Okay, guys, wait, what does that mean? She had then been, see she had been seeing him repeatedly in her dreams, guys. She swears that she had never met this man before. So she decided to send a picture of him to some of her patients and colleagues, guys. Which of them claim that they have seen him in her dream too. From 2006 to now, about 3,000 people have claimed to see them in her dream. Some people say that they see him in their dreams as a good guy. Well, Luna, in my dream, he wasn't a good guy. I saw him before my dream. He looks like in a nightmare, Maya? Guys, that is so creepy. Okay, guys, wait. Comment below if you've ever seen this picture before. I hope you guys do not, though, because it's so weird. Oh my gosh, he's actually a real person. This man is a mysterious individual who has been appearing in the dreams of numerous people. And since 2006, yet his real world identity remains unknown. Guys, 10,000 people have been saying that they have seen this guy in their dreams, Maya. I mean, Maya, that face kind of does look like just like a regular person. So I don't know if they think they've seen him or if they think they've seen someone similar to him, Maya. Faceless Bacon. So back in 2020, one girl was returning home after school. And she really loved to play Roblox, but later, she actually decided to make a game. But when she was done making the game, there was a bacon who was spawned in the middle of the sky with no face. She did not think much about it, guys, until her game was being completely destroyed, guys. But this faceless bacon is set on fire. She started hearing screams in the background, guys, of her own game. And her account kept on getting messages, guys. From the account that does not exist. Wait, what? After this, her Roblox studio completely crashed down, guys. And later, she opened Roblox. But when she did, she saw all of the weird messages she got. And those messages were actually to click on the link. What link? Or your account would be deleted, yo. She instantly clicked on the link. Guys, don't click on any link, but that's literally how you get hacked. And the website asked for her address and phone number, guys. Oh my gosh, Maya. And many other information about her besties. Why would they do that? Something absolutely absolutely horrifying happened. So guys, in Roblox groups, there are some hackers that say to click on this link for free Robux. Never click on that link or else you'll get hacked. Yeah, guys, that is so true, Maya. There's a lot of hackers trying to get people's accounts hacked, guys, and banned off of Roblox, Maya, and steal everything on their account. Everybody do not play this game. What is the game? Okay, well, guys, obviously, this is another game that we should not be playing. If you don't know, this game has the worst impact on kids. That's it is true. the worst influence on mm -hmm. them. Tons of parents have been shocked about it. Okay, what game, Maya? What game? If you touch up this username on Roblox and go to the creations, what what other games are called Trash Hood. You might think this is another The Hood copy, but there is a much darker side to this game. So when you guys join, it looks like a regular game, but then you have to climb this building. What the heck does that mean? Maya? Okay, <laughs> I guess you have to climb this actual building, Maya, to see. Okay? Once you're in the building, you have to do this glitch where you come outside of the map. All right, Maya. How did she figure this out, though? Bro, this guy's how? crazy. Once you're out of the map, head towards these objects. Looks pretty weird, right? You have to head to this vending machine. What the heck? Maya? Okay, this is very bad, Whoa. guys. This is Why so are you trying bad? to get it? Maya, why the heck is she trying to get it, guys? Okay, definitely do not play this game. What is she doing? And why did she start flying, by? What the heck, Bessie? Never do not in real life, Bessies, okay? Have you guys ever heard of the formidable face? So it was a guy that called his friends one day, and they all wanted to play Roblox. So they played Roblox for a little bit, guys, and then they said bye to each other and went offline. But the next day, the guy woke up and saw that his mom was not home. So he logged into Roblox, and he went to the avatar shop, and at the avatar shop, his face changed to a very big smiley face. Whoa! Yeah. Guys, okay, wait, my, how many people are, wait, it says unknown. But then he heard a lot of knocks on the door, and he thought it might have been a mom. But then he opened the door, guys, and apparently he's now missing after that. Okay, wait, the heck? Wait, over here, this is the picture. Formidable 
face by unknown. Hold on, Luna. Should we search that up? It's, it's literally free. It says I don't know. Wait, hold on. Let's see this face right now. Guys, we just searched it up and nothing is coming up. But that face was obviously online, Maya. I mean, come on. This person's literally saying that he got this face, guys. And there's a picture. For free, though. Like, but he didn't even buy it at all. He just went to the avatar shop and then tried to, you know, get some items. But then he saw his face was really big, creamy smile on it. And Luna, how about this? Bro, we both did the same thing. Maya, what do you mean? I have a better face, guys. Okay, guys, come to my Which face is scary? I have a better face. My guys, I'm pretty sure I look so scary, guys. Comment down below which was scarier, though, because my that face does kind of look creepy with your hair. That's why I took off my hair. Do you not see me? It's I'm bald. <laughs>